Well, today I wanted to share with you the joy of shooting in black and white. I've come to Liverpool this morning, starting off doing a few architectural fine art type shots while the light is still nice. And uh, after that, then I'm going to move around the city and see what else I can find. Black and white's an art form that's often misunderstood. It offers a unique perspective which you can use to elevate your craft and your artistic vision. So even if you always shoot in colour and want to continue shooting in colour, you will find that shooting in black and white will help your creativity and improve your photography overall. See, by stripping away the unique distraction of colour, you're forced to focus on the very essence of your subject, and that's where the magic happens. One of the biggest misconceptions about black and white photography is that it's outdated, that it's only for old school photographers who can't keep up with the times. But I'm here to tell you that's just not true. Black and white photography is timeless. It's just as relevant today as it was a hundred years ago. Some photographers think that black and white is less appealing than colour. It's boring or monotonous. But the truth is, black and white is a masterclass in subtlety and nuance. It's about finding beauty in the shadows, in the textures and in the tones. It's about creating mood and atmosphere with light and darkness. Black and white photography is not about removing colour, but it's about adding depth and emotion. When you shoot in black and white, you're forced to think differently, to see the world in a different way. You really start to notice the way the light falls on your subject, the way the shadows dance across your frame, and the way textures pop out at you. It's a completely different world, and it's one that I've fallen in love with this year when I've started working on this black and white fine art photography project. I remember seeing a photograph by Juliana Gosparadu that really made me think about doing black and white architectural photography. I'm a property photographer, so I've always been interested in taking pictures of buildings. But when I saw this image and I realized how much it had been worked on, uh, how much of her vision was in the photograph, I realized that was something I was also interested in doing. I'm, also, I'm always interested in trying to make a photograph that makes people go, oh wow, that's amazing. But that's part of my goal when I create a photograph, is to create something that I think people will enjoy seeing that is a piece of artwork. When I saw this photo, I realized that's exactly what it was. This was an artist's view of how this building would look. And she's deliberately chosen how to frame it. She's chosen certain composition rules and how to process it. So the, uh, the kind of wingspan structure in the center is deliberately made white. That's what your eye is drawn to. And it's also symbolizing other things. So a lot of emotion in there is probably symbolizing hope and a future and whatever you feel about it. I've started shooting black and white. I've made it my project this year to shoot in black and white. And it's changed everything for me. My compositions have got stronger. Uh, my understanding of lighting has got better. And my photography has started to take on a life of its own. And what I've enjoyed the most is the ability to manipulate the photographs to create my artistic vision. You see, when you take a color photograph, that's what everybody sees the world in. And they kind of expect your photograph to be realistic or perhaps enhanced with a subtlety of tone and colour. But in black and white, you can do anything you want. You can completely change the sky, for example. Make it all black. Do we ever see an all black sky? Maybe at night, but it usually has some stars in it. Or you can make it all white. Whatever you want to do, you can impose your artistic vision on the photograph. Nobody will question it. They'll just question, they might question whether they like it, but it's really about your interpretation and whether you're interpreting it in a way that is artistically appealing to other people. So this morning, I'm wandering around Liverpool. I'm taking a few architectural shots, of course. That's what I really came here for. But I'm also wandering around just taking some photos of the scenery, of the cityscape, of buildings, of light and shadows. And I'm making sure they're all in black and white. Now, what I find it helpful to do is put my camera into that creative look of black and white, and then I can see straight away if 
what I saw in my head before I took the image is coming out in the photograph. I've had many breakthroughs in my journey of photography whenever I've tried something new. But the one that really has stood out to me is when I realized that black and white isn't just a style. It's a way of seeing, it's a way of looking at the world that is more nuanced, more subtle and more beautiful. And from that moment on, that's what got me hooked. I knew that black and white is going to be in my heart and in my photography for many years to come and it's perhaps where I'll even stay. So why even shoot it in black and white when we've got this glorious colour world to look at? I think partly because it's a challenge, because it's a journey, because it's a way of seeing the world that's unique and beautiful. Because it's not about removing colour, it's about adding depth and emotion. It's about creating your own artistic vision, your own artistic interpretation. And because it's a way of capturing the very essence of your subject. And that's what photography is all about. What do you think about black and white photography? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Will you always shoot in colour? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you really want to know about black and white photography in more detail, I'll leave a link to a video uh, that you should watch next. There's lots of other videos on my channel about black and white and fine art photography. Do hope you enjoy those and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.